but Team Biden's pension to weaponize it. Let me first say this about Omicron. Most of the evidence coming out of South Africa is, yes, that it spreads faster than other variants of the virus, but its effects seem to be far more mild. That's from doctors in South Africa. We should take that as good news. In fact, the South African doctor who discovered the virus told the Telegraph this. At the mildness of the symptoms that we are seeing, currently there's no reason for panicking as we don't see severely ill patients. But folks, Team Biden and his media cohorts don't want you to hear that, that it's not that severe. What they want you to focus on is what they've focused on all along. That's the numbers. The numbers of positive cases. Yes, the number of Omicron China virus cases may be skyrocketing, but deaths aren't. Yet we are about to unleash the lockdown wrath. Dr. Kotze says fatigue for one or two days is a symptom. She chairs the South African Medical Association. This, folks, is the other big symptom. Some of them will have what they call a scratchy throat, and some will have a cough, a dry cough, but it's not a, con con a constant cough. It comes and goes. And that's more or less the, the big symptoms that we have seen. Wait a second. Wait a second. A, a dry cough and a scratchy throat? That's what we're shutting everything down for? And the shutdowns, I really do fear, may occur. All right? This doesn't seem like a virus. We need to shut the world down over. Yet what happened? This past weekend, Team Biden marched out its fear mongers to literally exploit Omicron to whip you back into submission.